I can get it. Oh, it's too much work. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica. I'm a nurse, labor and delivery. Um, I am a wife, mom, entrepreneur, all those things, photographer. I have many hats. So if you like any of those things, then maybe my channel is something you might want to subscribe to. Um, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell of when I upload. I promise you guys this year I'm going to upload more. I've just had, I have a lot to tell you guys. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I quit my job. So if you want to know why, then keep on watching. Okay, so before I get into the news of me quitting my job, I wanted to give a huge thanks to our sponsors, Picmonic. Picmonic is an amazing visual audio tool that you can use in nursing school or outside of nursing school. I still use it because every time someone signs up using my link, guess what? I get two weeks for free. And so anything that I need help with specifically, I haven't had a diabetic patient in a while. And at my old facility, we used uh, IV drips, but at this new facility, we use uh, sub Q insulin. And I had been like, Wait, let me refresh. So what did I do? I went to my Picmonic app on my phone, searched diabetes and insulin, and there was all the information for me in the cutest cartoon ever. I am a visual learner. I need to see it, hear it, feel it in order to learn. Um, and a lot of us are like that. I can't read a book and be like, yes, got it. Not, does not happen for me. So if you're interested in Picmonic, I have a subscription to give away to you guys. And I'm so thankful for Picmonic for sponsoring this video so that I can give you guys free stuff. So if you want to win, all you gotta do is like this video. Um, visit our nursing Facebook page. I'll leave all the links down below. We're 33 members and counting. Great resource for you guys to go and see what other nursing students are doing. And yeah, I will be picking a winner in one week's time. Good luck, like this video, comment down below, and let's get into it. All right, you guys. Yes, you heard it right. I quit my job as a labor and delivery nurse at a very high volume, well-known facility in my area. So, what prompted me to quit my job? Uh, numerous factors. I'm not gonna say that I didn't love it there. I Oh, everything I have to this hospital and the people in it. Um, I miss my charge nurses. I miss my staff, my fellow staff nurses. I miss my, um, the things that I was learning there, the providers, my midwives, uh, the workflow, how easy it was to, you know, work. And there was, everything was smooth. Ran, like, it was chaos, but it was like, you knew what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Like, it was set in stone the way things were and the, everyone did it mostly the same way so it was easy to just like you know find order in the chaos but this video is not just about why I quit this is this video is more about telling you that you have options letting you know that you don't need to stay at a job where you know it's just not a good fit for you um, I've had a lot of things happen in my personal life as far as my mom's health, my health, just work-life balance. It wasn't working. It was not working and it's okay if it doesn't work because you have options. Um, you're very valuable as a nurse, as a medical provider, if, if you're an LPN, if you're an MA, if you're, a, you know, a student nurse, you have so much value and the sad thing is that we don't use that value. And we're scared to use that value and we really need to start using it to our advantage because Florida is one of the lowest paying hospitals in the nation. Cost of living is insane right here in Central Florida. Um, okay, we don't have state taxes, but we got other, other stuff. Housing is expensive. Gas has been gone up. A, a gallon of milk has gone up from like $2.99 to now it's like $4.99. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I have kids and they drink at least two and a half gallons a week. So that's just my little rant. You know, to buy a home in my area, it's half a million dollars. Easy, easy, not even brand new construction. So with that said, I want you guys to know your value and know what you're worth and ask for what you are worth. So going into a facility where I, it was my dream 
hospital. My dream to be working here, there, I'm not there anymore, working there. It was the place that I wanted to be. I knew it from the get go. I knew that I wanted to be a labor and delivery nurse at this hospital. And I got the job and I would have taken anything. Like if you wanted to pay me $10 an hour, I would have taken it just to get my foot in the door because I knew that this was my dream hospital. Um, it was my dream hospital. It just wasn't, it wasn't what was right for me. Um, my mom was having some health issues that I needed to be home for. I was having health issues. If you don't know, uh, a couple years ago, I went into AFib. It was actually right before finals, my last semester of nursing school. And since then I've had um, tachycardia episodes. And now I know, now that I've quit my job as a labor and delivery nurse at this high volume hospital, over 15,000 births a year, number two, three or four in the nation right now, um, level three hospital. I know now that the stress was manifesting itself physically and I wasn't paying attention to it because now I'm at a smaller facility I mean it's less than a year old um, still in Central Florida we have about 80 to 90 births a month and I have not had not one tachycardia episode since starting okay I think I've had one but that's only because I had red wine and red wine is another trigger for me so but that wasn't work related. So, and I'm so much less stressed, even though things are not like smoothly run how they are at this well-oiled machine that I was at. Um, it's just night and day of how my work-life balance has transformed. Um, at this old facility that I was working at, I was full-time night shift nurse. Uh, three days a week and then I went part-time because my mom was having issues and I had to Take her to the hospital. She can't be left alone. She has syncope all this jazz. Anyways um, So I went part-time it took me three months to get part-time So I was two days a week and then I just realized that I needed that flexibility. I needed more flexibility to be able to Be home when I needed to be home so um, I actually was gonna work two days a week at my old facility and work one day a week at this new facility but I decided to take the leap of faith and say, you know what, I don't know if I can live like this anymore. Change needs to happen. So that's when I decided to give three weeks notice to my job and take a leap of faith and hope that this new facility was a place that I could call my home as a PRN nurse. So I work one to two days a week. Um, I'm self-scheduled, which is amazing, and my PTO is always approved, and my manager is great. Like, she really cares about her staff nurses. She wants her staff nurses to stay, and I mean, I cannot tell you how great it's been to have work-life balance. Even though some kinks need to be worked out on this unit, it's a new unit, so we're, we're learning, we're developing processes, processes? I don't know how you say that, anyways. But I am so thankful that I had the opportunity to work at this high volume hospital because it taught me everything I know so that now I can put it into play at this smaller, more intimate hospital where I have been able to bond with my patients and it has been amazing, absolutely amazing. The last few shifts I haven't been able to deliver my patients because they haven't been complete and ready to push. But for them to tell me, oh my gosh, you're not going to be here for my baby's delivery. Will you be back tonight? Like that is amazing to know that they want you to be a part of such a huge monumental moment in their life. Like they want you to deliver their baby. That is amazing. When I was at this old facility, I always had two patients. I was always high acuity, always on, on Pitocin. Always pre-E, diabetic, um, want Q hourly AccuCheck's, Q hourly um, DTRs. I mean, it's insanity. You're winning from task to task to task, and then you gotta chart all those tasks. So there was no time to bond with your patient. I have this new way of bonding with my patients now. When I go in, I get bedside report. I literally sit down at bedside. I ask them what's the most important thing that they want out of this experience, that what can I do to make them the best experience that they would like out of their birth um, plan or out of their 
how they see their birth going, right? And then we go through the plan of care, things that can happen. You know, things can happen really erratically in birth. You know, baby can go down real quickly. We're doing these interventions. Mom doesn't know what's going on. So I kind of give them a, a playbook of like, this, this is what can happen and this is the interventions that can happen because of this and we're gonna be moving quickly. So if I come in here and I tell you to flip side to side, you know, this is why. So I kind of give them like the gist of what can happen and why I'm doing things so quickly and then we can regroup later and let them know what happened afterwards, you know? Um, preparing them better is what I'm doing. I'm educating so much more. And I hate to say this. No, I don't, ha I don't hate to say this. I know this already. I've known this. I am a natural educator. Like I love educating my patients and giving them a choice. Always giving them the choice of like, if this is what you want, I'm down, let's do it. If that's not what you don't want, I don't want it either. You know, and it's just amazing to be able to sit and bond, get to know your patients, know their names instead of a room number. <laughs> um, can't you guys tell I'm so much happier? Like I'm so much happier. I just, I miss my, I miss my crew. I really do miss my nurses at my old place and I am forever grateful for the opportunity to work there. It just wasn't for me. It was for me to learn and to grow as a nurse and to become a nurse. Um, but it wasn't for me long term and that's okay. And that's okay for you too as well. I mean, you are not stuck anywhere. You can go anywhere, anywhere in the United States. Take your license, do what you want. Don't settle. I was a labor and delivery nurse from the get-go. I knew that I was going to only apply to labor and delivery applications, whatever was online, I applied to it. And if it said experience, I still applied to it until I got the job. My first labor and delivery interview, I went, I got the job. I went to another labor and delivery interview a year later because I knew this facility I couldn't do long term. Interviewed, got the job. You know, it's not impossible to find your dream unit or your dream specialty the first time around. So anyways, that's really all I wanted to tell you guys. I'm so much happier. I've been at my new place for since September, October, November, December three months almost, a little, little shy of three months. And I really, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. And it's amazing because some of my colleagues are starting to come over and it's great. Like I'm getting that sense of belonging, a sense of like my crew, like yes, working together. You know, it's, it's a little different when you go into a smaller unit and they're really like the nurses are older as far as like expertise they have a lot more years than i do i still have a lot more learning to do and i'm excited to do that um and i'm excited to do that from older nurses too because on night shift at my old facility it was all new grads our charge nurses were the only ones who were veterans and they were spread so thin I mean, if I didn't, if I had a question, like I needed, a, I needed the answer now. And sometimes they weren't available or sometimes I'm like, I, I really am enjoying that. I have older nurses on my unit that I can use as multiple resources. Um, older nurses, I don't mean older in age. I mean, older as far as experience, um, which is great. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be at this new place. It's it's a lot less stressful and I mean labor and delivery is stressful it is but it's less stressful than what I was currently doing I'm having n almost no tachycardia episodes my husband sees the shift in me my kids see the shift in me other than like reverting back to days day life that's still hard for me um, but I'm getting paid more it's just like now I know my value and my worth and I'm not afraid to ask. I'm not afraid to be active in how I want my career to go as opposed to letting someone else dictate where it's gonna go. But yeah, so that is the news. Um, if you want more about my new job and uh, the difference between like a big facility and a little facility, let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to do that. I'm sorry for the lining you guys, it's super yellow, but. I wanted to film this and get it up for you before the weekend and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Like I said, I promise next year for sure I will be more active. If you are new, if you're a nursing student, I have a nursing um, Facebook group that 
is on is amazing like we have 33,000 plus members make sure you join i'll leave all the links down in the comments and i'll see you in my next video